I thought going into the season that this team would be pretty good because I thought this quarterback could play. He just didn't have the weapons. I'm talking to the Miami Dolphins. Okay. What's your take on them? Do you believe it's McDaniels, it's Tyreek Hill, it's a combination of everything? I think it's a combination of everything. Um, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny because should I interview to actually be one of the Dolphins DB coaches this offseason? Me and, me and Mike known each other a long to fucking time. Skip Tao though, NFL felt that way. And <laughs> this guy here. Me and Mike's known, yeah. we know, we known each other a long time. And so like, when his name got in the running, we started talking a little bit. It was just doing Super Bowl. I remember walking the streets of downtown LA, talking about, man, if you get this job, bro, you know, I'm gonna come down there, whoop de whoop de whoop. And it, it's something about just the realness, man, that he kicks, you know what I mean? Like he's just a dude, man. Like he a dude who probably really ain't supposed to be where he at. You know what I mean? Just you want to play for in him. In all honesty, yeah. And so, Kess, respect that, man. Everything down there in Miami, man. I always thought Tua could play. I just thought he needed stuff around him, man. Like, like everybody like else to does. Me, everybody, that's how the game works, man. Like, you got to put, like I said about Josh, you got to put dudes in position to be successful. Yeah. And once they get a taste of that, man, that's just like a drug. Success is like a drug. Once you taste it Some shit you don't and you know see it, about. it's like, oh, man. And then you get the confidence, and then it's drugs. like, man, bro, what you want me to do? Cool, I run through a brick wall for you. Cause I believe you believe in me and you put yeah. me in position to not do things that I, that, that I struggle with. And the relationship yeah, he, he has with McDaniel that. that he didn't have with what? Brian Flores. I, I believe Tua had three offensive coordinators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can tell Flores didn't really want him. Yeah, and he wasn't an offensive guy, you know what I mean? And so he probably didn't know can they sustain all this? the little things it took. You think they can? I mean, I think it's early. I think that Buffalo game, Buffalo should have won that game. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. I think the Ravens should have won that game. But Miami's finding a way to win. Yeah. And, and, and late in the season, that shit going to mean something. Get, being in close battles and knowing, man, this dude got my back. He going to ride for us. Or he's made that throw. Yeah. Or we was down 21, man, against Lamar Jackson. He going to probably be the MVP. We was down 21 and we won. Yeah. So shit, ain't no obstacle going to feel too much for these dudes at the end of the season. And so... Wins. I don't, I don't believe in them yet. Same with Jalen Hurts yet. But damn, man, they look good. I can't wait to keep watching them.